Today, I'd like to introduce a thermal pad made of graphite to you guys. I bought a 2-pack package from Amazon for $13. I'll show you in this video whether performance is better than the thermal paste we use. The most attractive thing is that it can be used again. I think it would be better if the performance was excellent. Today, we prepared the thermal compound of bit power to compare performance. The compound will be applied differently in two ways. First, we install a cooler by applying a small amount in front of the CPU as the most common method of applying the compound. Cooler will use stock cooler to make a full comparison between compound and thermal pad. Now, shall we test the temperature? As you can see, it's between 27 and 30 degrees in idle and 35 and 40 degrees in charge. Now, let's apply a small amount of thermal compound and spread it evenly across the CPU. As you can see from this method, it keeps 26 degrees in idle and rises from 28 degrees to 31 degrees in charge. Application to the surface of the CPU has shown good thermal conductivity. This time, I will install cooler using graphite thermal pad that I prepared today. As you can see, it doesn't show much temperature to stand out in idle, but it shows a similar level of performance to the method of spreading thermal compound in charge. Then let's take a look at three ways at once. First, it is idle. This time, it's charge. As I said before, the method of spreading the compound evenly on the CPU surface and graphite pad has similar performance, but if you overclock, graphite pad will show superior performance. Because the temperature that can handle can be from 200 degrees to 400 degrees. Now, what do you think? Would you like to try? That's all for today's video. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.